Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a sample project with the help of Android Studio. So you have to just open the Android Studio from your search bar. Once you see that, you just click on it as I had already opened over here. Now on the left side, as I told you, the projects that you will be creating, it will display to you. You can remove it with the help of this cross sign if you don't want to see it in future. Now, I will explain you the things one by one into the stepwise. First, we will learn how to create a new project. So as you click on the new project, you will see that there are various kind of project templates available over here. No activity means when you will create a project, there will be no activity. What are the activities and everything that I will be explaining you into the future classes. Second is basic activity. Third is bottom navigation activity as you may have seen in some Android applications on the bottom you see some icons home account and all these things at that time you will see these things second thing is another is uh, empty activity so there will be a empty activity and there will be no code just a basic sample code will be there full screen activity we used to create full screen activity in the case when you want to show some splash icon suppose that you are creating some application where you want to show the name of the application as like uh, XYZ or whatever the logo or icon you can use that in that case full screen activity you can use. Another is Google AdMob activities. If you are creating an application in which there are advertising at that time you can create with the help of that. Next is Google Maps activity if your application do have these things of showing the location and everything and in case you can use Google Maps activity. Android Studio is providing you all pre type of activities so it will be easy for you to create the activities without having much knowledge and without doing so much coding like login activity, master details, navigation drawer, settings activity, scrolling activity, master details and this fragment tab and all these kind of activities you can have. In the other case if you are creating some wearables like Google glasses and other things like you can see watch faces, Google Maps activity in that case. If you want to create a project for that you can use this kind of activities if you are making some application for the Android TV in that case you have to choose from here otherwise if you are going for automotive then you have to use activities from here at the end we will see that Android things in that case you can do, use the activities so we learn the application development with the help of starting and it will be a basic activity I will start it out so that I can show you what are the things available into the basic activity so we'll click on the next now at this stage you have to be very careful that what are the things you have to define over here this is a look and feel it will show you this is a back icon from one activity if you have jumped to another activity in that case you want to come to the previous activity this is a floating bar icon you will see once the application is being created over here and these are the settings icons sometimes people use for settings some other options as well now first things comes as the name so here the name you have to decide whatever the name of the app you can give or you would like to give the application name so i will give it as like sample app package name package is actually a kind of a domain name into the reverse side like if you say www.google.com so here will be com.google the domain name you can use start with the com don't use example here in case com.example generally in the sample cases android application it comes like that in that case you don't use example otherwise the google play store will not allow you to release your application so i will use my company name com.acronym dot sample app automatically it will come in case if you want to add something more then you can do like this as well i will not add this thing save location you will click here and you can find whatever the location of the application to be saved you can choose it over there or you can go to the windows explorer and create a directory where you will only have the android application to be stored we have the two options java and kotlin we will learn here to develop the application with the help of Java language. Minimum SDK. Minimum SDK is actually a software development kit if you talk about like what are the minimum version for your application to be work on. Suppose that you have created an application 
and there are various versions in various devices which is available in the market at that time what will be the minimum version you will ask suppose that my this application will work on this version of android so if you want to start it with that now the minimum api is 16 so if anybody is having android phone which is having the version 4.1 your application will definitely work on it if you want to increase higher then you can change it anytime as you can see android 31 android s preview has came to the latest version your app will run approximately 99.8 percent of devices that is almost 100 you can also take a help of it like help me to choose what are the different version with the help of this as you can see what are the features are available in different different api level nougat and all the version it has named over here you can have a look at it use legacy android support libraries actually what happened these libraries were earlier used to have when we don't have so much libraries available for network interfaces in that case at that time right now we will leave it and we will not use it in our application in the current project once you are done with that and you have named it just click on finish android studio works very fine if you do are connected with the help internet means while using android studio or creating android application you should always connect it with the internet because whenever a project is being created there are some files being downloaded from the internet to complete your application there are some various libraries as you can see i have opened it here and there are some scanning file and index is being downloading you can adjust always here now it's indexing over here and loading module maps and so many other things is being loading here as you can see if you are having a proper internet things will work very fast now i will show you here on the left section what are the things and what are the right section and in the another video we will learn how to create a virtual device if you don't have to use your original phone which like the phone you are using in that case if you don't want to use so right now the application is downloading gradual field so sometimes what happen when you are making the application it takes some times to make it to completely run on it unable to run the properties so if this kind of error comes for you so what you have to do is you have to just choose it 512 click on sync and the gradle daemon process starts once this process starts it takes some time to sync that's why i suggested that you should have a internet connection along with you so it doesn't create a problem for you and it can easily configure the projects meanwhile this process is running i'll show you the sections here this is a section of your android studio project where you will see the different folders and different files that i will explain you in future classes and you can choose it project package and different structure directory structure like if i want to show the project click on like this if you want to show that if you want to show always in an android project application you click on android here and then you can proceed further on the top you can see there are different menus and by default whenever you create a project your main activity automatically gets to open main activity we call it is a main activity because by default the first activity is named as main means all the process and everything will start so now you can see that on the left side you have a manifest folder java folder rest folder and Gradle folder so this complete left section is of your project structure you can hide it with the help of this minus sign or you can click on it and it will show you again or you can do that with the help of like this now you close it and you can see that at the other hand you have a device file explorer on the right side if you are connecting some device along with you or emulator you can see what are the things inside that devices as well but only into the programmable way so like this we are going to create a sample project and it will looks like this so guys this is a basic information about how we are going to create a sample project in the next video we are going to see what are the structure folders available here and what is the functionality of each of every folder over here and how does a project looks when it is running we will learn also how to create an emulator so see you guys in the next video